Hey, Mark Davis here. We're going to talk about fishing with a, uh, my favorite lures, and that's a football jig. It's, uh, it's fall, <coughs> and the water temperature <coughs> has dropped down into the, to the mid to low 50s. We've had several cold fronts. We've got one that went through last night. And we're just going to give you a, a quick seminar to maybe that will give, make you a better football jig fish. We're going to start off with the rod and reel. Uh, I have a loose. Uh, TP, or I'm sorry, TI, Pro TI reel, a uh, spool with 17 pound test fluorocarbon, and there's a loose super grip. That's a seven foot three medium heavy action uh, rod, and you can see the super grip back there. I like that, and especially cold weather uh, uh, when it's raining, it's, it, it's a really a nice football jig rod. Seven foot three, it's parabolic in action. Uh, you get a good hook set, and you it's just a really good football jig rod. Uh, let's talk about the jigs a little bit. You know, we've got a lot of different sizes we're going to talk about. I'm going to only talk about three. A half, a three-quarter, or a one-ounce. How I make that determination is the conditions that I'm fishing under, and... Uh, obviously the depth that I'm fishing. So, you know, if you're fishing shallower water, say shallower ledges, shallower structure, uh, say from five to 12, even 15 feet deep, relatively calm, uh, not a lot of wind blowing, you know, a half is, is a great, great jig to go with. Uh, wind picks up or you've got some current or you're fishing a little deeper, say that, you know, 10 feet on out to 20, 25 feet, go to a, to a three quarter ounce. Uh, you get a real windy day and I'm trying to fish a football jig in depths, you know, 15 to 30, 35, even 40 feet, I'm going to go with a one ounce. Real quick, talk about trailers. My favorite trailer would be the, the, the structure book. If I only had one, that would be the one I would use. And what I like to do, I pull the side appendages off. About that uh, structure bug off. Here we go, right there. And I'm gonna take my jig and slide my structure bug up on there. If I could only have one trailer on my structure bug, that would be him right there. So that's that's what that's what you wind up with right there. It's compact. Got a lot of action. It's a good subtle action. Now, if I'm if the water's dirty and I'm wanting a little more kick, I'm gonna go with the rage crawl. The rage crawl has you know has bigger bigger legs. Take one out here. Take a quick look at it. It's got more kick. It's not quite as subtle. Uh, of course, a menace is always good. A menace trailer on a football jig. I've caught many, many fish over the years on that. If I'm using that half ounce or even a smaller jig, I'll use the baby structure. I'm not, the baby a rage crawl rather, and uh, it's it's just a smaller version. And a lot of times, you know, the, you know, the, the trailer is a big part of what you're doing with that jig. So you can go down to that to that little that little crawl right there and. Uh, a lot of times, uh, that's what it takes to get bit. So, don't be afraid to try different types of uh, of trailers on your jig. So, we're going to tie that jig on. This rod that we've already talked about, and uh, we're going to go out there and we're going to make a few casts with it, see if we can get a bite with it. See, the wind's blowing pretty hard today. We had a front, had storms last night. Front's gone through. We've got a northwest wind. So I'm tying on that three quarter ounce. And there we go. Tied on 17 pound test line. So let's go give that a try. All right, fishing with a football jig. I can make a longer. Don't, don't make your cast so long that you can't get a good hook set, you know. Make a, make a long cast. If you 
don't get it too far out, but you that, that three quarter, that, especially that one ounce, you can throw all the line off your reel nearly. You know, you can make it a long, too long of a cast. If you do that, a lot of times when you first engage and pick up on the reel, you're going to get a bite. And you, you can't get a hook in a fish on a long cast, but I like to get my, my lure out there a good ways. And it's a drag. A lot like the fish in Carolina rig. Just dragging that jig, feeling, feeling for cover on the bottom, stumps, rocks. That's the great thing about a football jig. It tells you what's down there. You know, it's a soft bottom, hard bottom, stumps, brush, grass, and ultimately bites. One on the football jig. Okay. Spotted bass. Well, he was deep. What I was doing there, I was fishing that ledge, looking, and what I'll do with that football jig a lot of times when I'm hunting fish, I'll almost troll it. In other words, what I was doing, I made a cast. I was just letting the wind and using the trolling motor. I'm watching my depth finders. I'm working down that ledge, and I saw some fish. I kept working my jig into them. So that's when I set the hook and my line's right back behind the boat. That's the reason why. You can use it that way to help you locate them. 